if it's not going, use a little mallet. There we go. A little bit of mallet work and this should come right off. I'm about to replace the clutch on my 2006 Monster 620. So all of these items here have to do with the clutch and oil change that's about to happen. The first item is a, a gasket the clutch cover gasket and uh, I know you can use liquid gasket but I, I saw some reviews and people have been using this one so I'm gonna open it up and take a look at it just a gasket beautiful the next item will be a, a oil filter so that's just like part of regular maintenance but since I'm gonna be messing with the clutch and I know I don't have to actually drain the oil to replace the clutch but I will because it's that time it's been over 2,000 miles and over the winter and everything and it's the, the, the oil just looks disgusting and it's black and I prefer this over the OEM Ducati uh, filters the next little item that I got is uh, this torque wrench because uh, the clutch the clutch retaining plate has to be torqued to uh, five newton, newton meters and this comes exactly what I need. It comes with a five millimeter uh, hex and also with a four millimeter hex which I'll actually need for the clutch. So that's perfect. This right here is I will show later during the install but basically I made a mimic of the clutch cover and the gasket and these are all the holes for all the bolts so that way because they're all different lengths and I will put them in this little cardboard holder and the way when it's time to reassemble I know exactly where all of them are last but not least is the actual clutch itself the new OEM Ducati Monster 620 2006 clutch. And this came from the company called Moto Rapido. Look at this beauty. It's gorgeous. Nice packing job. I love it. Look at this. Original box. Original Ducati parts. Cut the tape. Oof. Beautiful. So we got these guys here and these guys there do not eat all right I won't eat that part but look that's a nice little uh, pouch there for humidity nice so this is really cool OEM life nice box I'm a big fan so just for the record this is the part number that i got and now it's time to put all this stuff inside the bike today we're going to uh change the oil in a ducati monster 620 2006 model we're going to replace the oil filter and uh just put in new oil but this is the beginning of a bigger job which is actually replacing the clutch on this bike and uh, I don't really need to drain the oil before replacing the clutch, but I would like to because it's time anyway. The oil is black and nasty from the winter and from two and a half thousand miles. And the, the oil screen was cleaned about two thousand, two and a half thousand miles. So right now I don't have a socket for it. So I'm not going to clean out the screen. I will do it the next oil change. So let's begin. I just ran the bike for about 10 minutes. So it's nice and uh, warmed up and first thing I'm gonna do is remove the drain plug so it's a little tight so just for this reason I have a seat post from a bicycle there we go that was really tight that was super tight but it is loose 
and I see the crush washer is coming out with the drain plug. So that's good. Before I pull this out, I'm going to put this little cinder block under the kickstand, which way making the bike more vertical. The bike is now more vertical and uh, let's pull the plug. Ooh, did not mean to do that. So here it is, nasty black oil. As the oil drains, I take the, the drain plug and I, oh look, I'm bleeding from uh, banging my finger on the thingy. Um, but you remove all the metal shavings because this is magnetic. So all the little metal shavings get a, attracted to it. You can just wipe them off with a nice little towel. Now that uh, I'm clean, we're gonna move on. And uh, I know I should be probably wearing gloves, but no gloves today. Going raw dog. There we go. It's time to remove the actual oil filter. So for that, we're going to grab it. There we go. Holding the bike, twisting the filter off. I'm going to use this hand since it doesn't have any cuts and oil is about to pour out and these things happen. Here we go. Boom. I'm going to leave this filter in there and wipe my hand on the clean towel. Let this bike drain. So the bike is almost done draining and uh, <clears throat> I'm about to take off the clutch cover. And I created this little uh, base for it that matches up with all the bolts. So the way when I remove them, I can put them in here. For this task, we will need a, a five millimeter hex key. Boom. Well, one thing I have to remember to do is disconnect this. Put it over here. We'll deal with that later. So, loosen these puppies. And I don't think uh, any oil will pour out since we pretty much drained it, but gotta be very careful with these. A bit of shamings there. So, this one is over here. So, I put it in this hole, just like so. Boom, the last one, beautiful. Now, we can set this aside over here because we don't need it for now. Now comes the fun part, removing. So nothing is attached, nothing is connected. So with any luck, you should be able to remove this gasket. But if it's not going, use a little mallet. There we go. A little bit of mallet work and this should come right off. Beautiful. So look at that. Nice. I just need to clean it up. Get the old gasket off. For the most part, it's on uh, the case, so that's good. And uh, sorry for the noise, but these things happen. Before I actually remove the clutch plates, I'm going to make sure that this is clean. You see this notch? This little star here, this little line here? That's important because we're gonna notch it up 
with the, the notch that's behind here. So once we remove these, we'll put them uh, right here. So let's just loosen them. Let me see if I even need this long one. And right now the bike is in neutral. I'm just easing them all out a little at a time. This one will be the first to come out. Boom. Put a little. That's one. Uh, tilt the bike back a little bit so the oil doesn't drip out. There seems to be a lot of oil all over the place here. Here we go. Pull this one out. Boom. So the clutch popped out a little bit. So. Let me lay this down, put the socket down, and see what's going on. So here we go. Just gotta wiggle it out. So the notch here, you line it up with that notch up there. And the springs here, we'll let them be. So this is the the new clutch assembly and uh, some people uh, say to pre-soak it in oil and some people do not and I watched a lot of professionals install it and some say not to pre-soak it so so be it I will not pre-soak it but look at the beautiful packaging by Ducati I'm a huge fan anyway so these are the new clutch plates let's get them out so this one goes out first. And then you get a couple more. A couple more. I'm gonna use this knife to gently guide them out. Get out. Boom. The last one is out. That took entirely too much effort, but don't worry, nothing was scratched or destroyed. So now we put in the new plates. Boom. And also I found out that it doesn't really matter which way you uh, put it in, so. Just put it in alternating like that. Beautiful. Now we just have to replace the little bracket thingy. This here goes over. Into, this goes with the notch and those go in the springs. So A little bit off. So like that. Pretty soon. You're gonna have to make sure uh, these springs line up. It's nice, but if the springs don't line up, it's not worth a damn. The springs are on. There we go, the clutch is on. Beautiful, see this three springs? You gotta line up and the notches line up. So, with any luck, we did a good job with that. So we put this in. And this, goes over. 
just like so. Next step is putting these little bolts back in. So we're just basically hand tightening it at this point. There we go. We got one in. Hopefully when it's done. So now we whip out the torque wrench. This has to be at 6.6 .6 newton meters. So I'm basically gonna do it to between six and eight. So let's see. So that's it. Let me undo this one and undo it so it clicks. Boom. Nice. Not match. Boom. Beautiful. We're all set. So, the whole thing is to torque. Can't complain there. Next step is uh, getting this gasket on. So, to do that, I'm going to, you can either put it on the engine or you can put it on the case. I'm going to do it on the engine. So you just slide it on just like so. And you know, hope it stays. And it will. You can, uh, oh, hold on, let's not get too crazy and tear it. You can actually take a little bit of oil to help it stick a little bit. Hopefully that's a, a right thing to do because that's what I heard. But, you know, first time for everything. Here we go. Just like so. So, the first bolt will be this one. Just line it up ever so carefully just like that I just want to put in a couple of bolts so the gasket holds just like that there we go like that just want to make sure they all Go through nice and easy. Let me try it. And this one. The reason why I'm not putting them in in order is I'm just kind of guiding them in to make sure that the gasket lines up good. So now we can go ahead and tighten all of them. One by one. Here we go. Maybe a little. A little mallet action is in order. A little. Beautiful. I think we're tight. Tight, 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 tight. Everything's tight now. So now we get under here and wipe this area out. Make it nice and clean. We're gonna do the same for over there, but make it nice. Now we do the same here. Now we take the the plug, and the crush washer is still on there. That's all right. I'm going to reuse it. Boom. Gently. Put that plug in there. 
and the bike's been draining of oil for the last hour or whatever it took me to do the clutch so tighten it that's good next step taking this beautiful new filter ripping off the plastic we don't litter so you put the plastic in your pocket and then we have a 17 millimeter socket that we will use once we guide it in by hand but so basically you go in there just like so and you might want to wipe it down if you care about these things but all right so once you hand tighten the filter use a 17 millimeter socket and tighten it up not too tight i think that's good you don't want it too crazy tight but you don't want it to uh be loose either so all right so finally comes the magic moment where you fill it up with some oil remove the little oil cap everything is tight everything is good I'm using this uh, Valvoline 10W40. It's probably not the best oil, but I got a good deal on it. So I need to put in three and a half quarts. And then I'm going to drain, get rid of that oil. But uh, I'd like to uh, keep this under there just in case it's a disaster. And now is where I put in a little less than half of the other one, maybe a third. It's always better to add oil if you need it than to have too much. And now is the third one. I mean the fourth one. So let's see. Ounces. So we're gonna pour in uh, about eight ounces. Nice. First and foremost, you don't want to spill any of this. So, the idea is to be very careful. So, let me get this out. Let me tilt the bike this way. You see how the oil is doing? Whoa. More than enough at this point. We take this. Well, I should have uh, cleaned this up a little bit while I'm here. Here we go. Close that up. Here we go really slowly this is gonna get crushed and fold it like this like that. let's see if she runs it works <laughs> 